Hi, ArcfieldWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Monday morning, May 23rd. What a difference a cold funnel passage can make this time of the year. In the Mid-Atlantic region, we have a refreshingly cool, drier air mass in the area this morning. Following the passage of a strong cold front late yesterday, that strong cold front featured many, many strong to severe thunderstorms as it crossed from west to east through the eastern states, again late yesterday afternoon into the evening hours, those strong thunderstorms paved the way for a refreshingly cool air mass this morning and it looks like much of the upcoming week will remain uh, relatively cool in the eastern part of the nation. We have a couple of systems to deal with and that all leads into another strong cold frontal system at the end of the work week paving the way for the Memorial Day weekend. First of all, let's take a look at the IntelliCast.com radar loop as of this morning. An interesting feature down here across Tennessee Valley. There's a little bit of a circulation with a low pressure area on the heels of the frontal passage. The front is now off the eastern seaboard uh, and there will be some partial sunshine in the mid-Atlantic region today, but clouds will thicken up late in the day and by tonight this whole area pushes to the north and east and certainly can produce there's some decent rainfall in the D.C. metro region and probably showers all the way up into Philadelphia, maybe even as far north as New York City later tonight. And that threat for a shower or two will remain on Tuesday, Tuesday night and Wednesday. And temperatures again cooler than normal right through midweek, in fact right into the latter part of the work week. Meanwhile, a lot of cold air for this time of the year resides continues to reside out across the Rocky Mountain areas. They had accumulating snow in Colorado, for example, during the past weekend, and there can be more accumulating snow over the next 48 hours right in this region right here. The blue on this particular kind of a radar map indicates snowfall, so this is very late in the season to see accumulating snow out over the Colorado Rockies. Well, let's walk through the zero Z run of the GFS in terms of the 850 millibar temperature anomalies. Again, hot weather this past weekend was swept out to sea by this cold frontal passage uh, late yesterday, last night. Temperatures reached uh, uh, the middle 90s in many areas on Saturday afternoon, all the way from D.C. to Philadelphia to New York City. I know Philadelphia, for example, recorded a high on Saturday of 95, still remained hot on Sunday ahead of the frontal system where Philly it topped out at 91 degrees before those strong thunderstorms hit. A big difference today and really for the rest of the week. Today's high temperatures in that same I-95 corridor region, low to middle 70s at best this afternoon and probably in the 60s, upper 60s in many parts of the I-95 corridor region on Tuesday and perhaps Wednesday as well. Here's the uh, surface cold frontal system in the lower part of the atmosphere anyway as we begin the day on Monday at the 850 millibar level and once that cooler air moves in it kind of sticks around for much of the week and again uh, the coldest core of the air mass relative to normal resides over the Colorado Rockies, the rest of the central Rockies, the northern Rockies and into the central and northern plains this morning and it sticks around. Look at this, this is some 20 degrees below normal uh, later tomorrow, tomorrow night across northern Texas, Colorado, all the way up into the heartland of the nation. Still a cooler than normal day. Again, temperatures could top out in the upper 60s in that D.C. to Philadelphia to New York City corridor. Not only on Tuesday, perhaps Wednesday as well. Again, the showers possible beginning tonight from that low pressure area over the Tennessee Valley that will indeed push to the north and east. A little bit of a warm-up pushes into the Mid-Atlantic region, the Northeast, the Great Lakes by the latter part of the work week, but then we have another cooler than normal air mass right on its heels. Probably a pretty strong frontal passage comes around, let's say, Friday night through the eastern part of uh, the nation with showers likely late Friday, Friday night, maybe a thunderstorm or two. Still a little too early to say about the upcoming Memorial Day weekend. But there is a chance that that frontal system will kind of pave the way for some decent weather over the upcoming holiday week and more on that as we go through the work week. Well, let's now take a look at the surface forecast maps. Look at this. This is a thing of beauty to see this time of the year, especially uh, as you get uh, some hot weather here. A Canadian air mass 
excuse me, a Canadian high pressure system moved over uh, the Great Lakes in the overnight hours, and this dominates the scene all the way from the northern plains to the New England to the Mid Atlantic region with refreshingly cool and dry air. Here's rainfall associated with that low pressure area centered now over the Tennessee Valley. You'll see it pushes to the north and east, definitely some rainfall for DC and probably into Philadelphia tonight as well. Maybe a few showers late tonight in New York City. And then that threat for a shower or two will remain on Tuesday into Tuesday night. And with high pressure up to the north and east, we'll have an easterly flow of air in D.C., Philadelphia, New York City on Tuesday into Wednesday. And that will keep temperatures on the cool side of normal. Again, high temperatures possibly confined to the upper 60s on Tuesday afternoon and then Wednesday afternoon. And here's a healthy looking system. Watch out for some severe weather down in the deep south. By the middle part of the work week, this is the Wednesday afternoon forecast map. And there will indeed be a cold frontal system right in this region right here by the time we get to Friday morning moving into the eastern U.S. Probably a good round of showers, maybe thunderstorms into the eastern states late Friday, Friday night associated with this next strong cold frontal system right in here. This is by Friday evening going into Saturday morning. Still unsettled. In terms of Saturday and Sunday, the weather for the mid-Atlantic region during the Memorial Day weekend. Some models have the frontal system really sweeping off the coast, paving the way for nice weather over the upcoming weekend. I'm not convinced yet of that. There can be a, a, a slowdown of that front as it reaches the eastern seaboard, which could have a negative impact on the upcoming weekend. But more on that as we go through the work week. The big difference, though, is the air mass that is now in place, the Mid-Atlantic, Northeast U.S., Great Lakes, uh, refreshingly cool and noticeably less humid compared to what we experienced over the past few days. That's it for now. For ArcFieldWeather.com, I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.